in today's video, I'm gonna give you my five keys for striking your wedges pure every single time. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna jump right in to the tips. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Links for the stuff I use are in the description below, so check those out. Uh, discounts, all that kind of good stuff. Here we go, step one. Here's what I want you to do. It's going to be setup. Setup is gonna be key, okay? You have to have a great setup, otherwise you're doomed. So, what, here's all I want. Just, I mean, we're gonna go right down the center. Everything's right down the middle, okay? Just, just right, pray, grab your club. Right there, it's right here, okay? Your chest, your nose, hopefully your nose is somewhere close to the center of your face. You want everything right down the middle here, okay? Set up, boom, right here. And my feet are gonna be na pretty narrow. Right in here, right there, okay? Get your setup, right there. Ball position, center, weight is forward, okay? This is setup, you gotta have your setup good, otherwise you're gonna get in trouble. Right here. Center, center setup. That's step one. Step two is very similar to setup, except, well, there's no exceptions. You gotta get a good setup. And then this is what you're gonna do as part of setup, but it's like, I call it step two, and it's this. We want a little right lateral bend, or left if you're, but lateral bend, okay? So it's just like this much, like that, okay? Like you're reaching down to grab something off the table, like your wallet after you, Right there, okay? Right there. So it should look like this. You're here, center, right there, okay? Right there. With this, with this, right lateral, narrow stance. So setup is good, center, right lateral, weight on your front foot. Weight on your front foot. So bend, weight on your front foot. Like 80% on your front foot. Right there. Okay? That's step one and two. So set up and wait with the right lateral bend. Okay, step three is going to be sort of a little drill you're going to do after you get your setup and your, your position, your body position correct, okay? And here's what you're gonna do. Here's where I'd normally put the ball. I wanna move it way up here. For now, okay? We're just gonna hit some shots like this. Set up, right lateral bend, hands in the middle, weight forward, you're good. Just hit some shots. Hit some shots like that. Like 50. Way up here, off the front toe. Get it way forward. What are we doing here? There, there's a drill that people use. They put a towel down back here or a stick or something and they try to really hit down on the ball. This is kind of like that drill in reverse, okay? But in this drill, you're learning how to stay down through the shot a lot longer. That Lee Trevino move. I mean, you wanna stay down in there with your wedges as long as possible. The other drill is great, but you can hit and still come out. See that, I'm out. You don't want to do that. We're learning how to really stay down in it for as long as possible. So hit like, you know, 50, 100 balls, a lot. Hit a lot of balls like that. And I'm just trying to hit it as low as I can, really. But it's gonna go high. But think low, try to hit it low. Uh, next step is fun. So I talk a lot about this in a lot of my drills and it's no different here. You have to do this. Let me show you. Okay, it's hard to see. Sun's bright. Uh, it's, you cannot, do not open the face as you take that club back. Do not rotate that face open, okay? You rotate that face open, it is going to destroy your wedge game. It's gonna mess up every other shot in your bag and it's gonna carry over into your whole life. Your whole life is gonna be a mess if you do this. It's gonna ruin you, don't do it. Please, I'm begging you, don't rotate that face open. He, here's what happens is, one, you're just gonna be a mess. And two, um, you're gonna whip that club way inside. That club's gonna be way back here. You don't want that, you don't want this. That's, that's no, no bueno. That's gonna be a mess. 
So you don't want to whip that club way inside here. And the way to help fix that is just to not rotate that face. You want to keep that face square. You, and then you could bring that club, those hands and everything inside, but that club stays out here. It's not over here. You don't want that, okay? So you want that club here, right in here. And it's gonna help you get that flat wrist, that bowed wrist, and it's gonna be crisp shots. It's gonna help keep that shaft ahead of the club head. That is key, and it's really hard. Some people do it, they don't even know it. They feel like they're shut, or they're not moving those hands, but they're moving them all over the place. No hands, really focus on that piece, okay? Don't rotate your hands. Just trying to keep that as square as possible with no rotation. You're really gonna start hearing a different sound. It's gonna be more pure, more crisp. You're gonna feel like you're pinching that ball into the earth, which is what you want. And then there's one more thing I want you to do if you can and it's really gonna help you out. Let's go. Okay, if you have some type of launch monitor, okay, uh, get it. This is the SC300, not paid sponsorship or anything, but I really dig it for all kinds of things, especially stuff like this. It has a mode here for practice. See that? Target mode. So we're gonna be on target mode. Now, what this is gonna help me do and I'm gonna hit a pitching wedge, so tell it pitching wedge, boom, target mode, and I can set my distance, how far I want to carry the ball. So I'm gonna hit a pitching wedge, but I only want it to go like 80 yards. So I'm gonna set 80 yards on here. Boom, and now I'm practicing that little three quarter half a swing shot that's so critical for these wedge shots because you never want to do full swing wedge. That's ridiculous. That's like taking a 50 foot putting stroke for a 50 foot putt for a six foot putt. Okay, I want you to think about your wedge game as six foot putts. That's the type of swing you want to have. That type of putting stroke, six to 10 feet. You're not taking a 40 foot putt here. That's a driver. This is the mindset we want to have. We want to take that relaxed, aggressive, like a relaxed, aggressive, like be aggressive, but it's not full swing. So this is going to help me be able to do that. Put it here. Seven, eight yards. Eight, four yards. That's good. That one went 84. So we're, that's the swing I want. That's the swing I want to practice. Get good at that. It's hard, it takes a lot of work. But those are my five keys to really getting a great wedge game and a great short game overall. Just set up good, weights forward, right lateral bend, keep that weight forward too the whole time. And then we want to do a little drill, that forward drill. Make sure you're working on that. Keep that face shut. Don't rotate that open and close on the, on the backswing. No good. And then use something to help you practice that like three quarter shot with your wedges. And go through your, all your wedges, however many, four or five wedges, all the way maybe up to your nine iron and work that. So do something and pick a number that's kind of three quarter for you and just make sure you hit it. Maybe you're out of range, there's a perfect target for you, that's great. Maybe you're in a net, you need a little launch monitor or uh, something like that to help you out. The, this works great. Link in the description below for the um, uh, Swing Caddy SC300 and uh, discount link too. So if you're interested in that, that's there. It's expensive, but uh, I think it's worth it. So check that out if you want. Hope this drill helps you. Really wanna tighten up that game for the season so we can get that uh, ball close to the hole, make more birdies. Love you guys, thanks for watching. Uh, peace out, see you in the next video.